dear first year students welcome to cocktail graduates junior college online classes okay first of all for mpc students here i'm introducing the group okay first two mpc for mpc students so for mpc so first of all mass m for mass okay intermediate first year so we have two mathematic papers paper 1a next paper 1b okay for mathematics we have two papers a paper and b paper next physics physics next chemistry chemistry or next already have two languages two language papers the first one is english and uh, next one is uh, sanskrit okay for maths according to board of intermediate education for mathematics paper so first paper 1a we have 75 marks for paper 1b we have 75 marks next for physics 60 marks for chemistry we have 60 marks for languages 100 marks for english and 100 marks for sanskrit paper totally for mpc first year students total marks is equals to 470 marks this is your target in first year okay students next <coughs> today we have to discuss in one chapter okay today have to discuss in one chapter <coughs> first of all listen carefully dear students all of you observe this two piece of chart pieces okay they are parallel to each other yes and next all of you observe here so they are touch each other is it right right see here <coughs> so here i am taking oa oa is called initial side and next one is called terminal side terminal side ob okay here stays first of all here i am taking oa is the initial side and ob is the terminal side they are touch each other okay so then here makes an angle then here makes an angle okay so now we have to discuss about the definition of angle and the reflection what is the reflection of angle the combination of the combination of initial side and terminal side terminal side makes makes an angle do you understand students what is the definition of angle the combination of initial side and terminal side makes an angle so generally generally angles are represented by angles are represented by alpha beta gamma delta theta phi psi and so on so on so on so on, so on etc these all are called greek letters these all are called greek letters you can understand the space we can represent angle with this one okay alpha beta gamma delta theta phi psi and so on so on etc these all are called greek letters okay next let us consider one triangle abc okay so triangle abc already you learned in lower classes a triangle has how many sides three sides and how many angles are there three angles okay angle a and b and angle c already you learned in 10th class okay na the measurement of the measurement of 
three angles. The measurement of three angles is is called a is called a what is the definition of trigonometry? The measurement of three angles is called a trigonometry. Trigonometry. Dear students, today we have been discussing the topic is trigonometry. Okay. Today's my topic is trigonometry. Okay. The word trigonometry is derived from three Greek words. How many Greek words? Three Greek words. They are trio, next bonian, next metre. Okay. So trio means three. Bonian means angles, angles. Metal means measurement, measurement. Okay. So, what is the definition of trigonometry? The measurement of three angles is called a trigonometry. The measurement of three angles is called a trigonometry. Okay. Right. Next. So, in this chapter trigonometry, we have six ratios. We have six ratios. They are the first ratio is sine. As sine means sine. Okay. We can write this one short form as sine in sine. Okay. Our next ratio is cosine. C O S sine and e cosine. The short form is C O S. Our next ratio is tangent. So tangent. Okay, the short form is tan, and the fourth ratio is cotangent. Cotangent. The short form is cot cot. Next, the fifth ratio is secant. Okay, the short form is sec. Next, the sixth ratio is cosecant. Cosecant. The short form is cosec. These are the Six ratios in trigonometry. Okay. Now let us consider one right angle triangle. Yes, this is a right angle triangle A B C. Here makes angle theta. Then here A B is called opposite side of this theta. So that's why we are writing A B as a opposite side. Next. BC is called here adjacent side. Adjacent side. Next, here AC is called hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay? Yes, students. According to this right angle triangle, we have some basic formulas. Okay? The first basic formula is sine theta. Okay? So sine theta is equal to Opposite side by hypotenuse. So in writing, opposite side is divided by hypotenuse. Next, the second ratio is cos theta. Cos theta is equal to basic formula adjacent side by hypotenuse. So in writing, adjacent side by hypotenuse. But there, students, if you know this true one, okay, sine theta and cos theta, automatically you can write. Uh, uh, remaining for easy. Okay. So the third one is tan theta. Tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta. Sin theta by cos theta. It is equal to you will get the basic formula opposite side opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side by adjacent side. Next the fourth one is cot theta. So the cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. That, that is nothing but 1 by tan theta is equals to adjacent side by opposite opposite side. Okay. Next, the fifth one. Sec theta is equals to sec theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. That means 1 by cos theta. Okay. We can write it as hypotenuse is divided by at the same side, at the same side. 
like so the last six ratio is cosec theta so cosec theta is equal to is the reciprocal of sin theta that means 1 by sin theta is equal to okay so hypotenuse is divided by opposite side opposite side is there these are the six basic formulas of the trigonometric ratios okay okay next what is the use of this trigonometric chapter yes use so the use of this chapter trigonometric is we have to find the heights okay first one is to find the heights next to distances distance next to area okay area of the track so this is the use of four trigonometric chapter okay so from taking one example number one okay rest things all of you observe here is standing here the distance between the bottom of the tree to that person is equal to from taking suppose 100 meters okay this person is observing the bird observing the bird with an angle of elevation theta is equal to 60 degrees okay by using this angle and distance 100 meters we can find the height of the tree is ED. Okay? Okay. See how to find the height of the tree. So from this diagram or figure, from figure, this figure, all of you observe here. It is the opposite side of the angle and it is the adjacent side. According to basic formulas, we have tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Okay? You can apply that formula. Okay? From this figure, from taking tan theta, theta is equal to so much 60 degrees. Okay, tan 60 degrees is equal to its opposite side is equal to h. So I don't h by its adjacent side is equal to 100. So I don't have that. Okay, already learned in 10th class. What is the value of tan 60? Yes, root 3. So I don't have root 3. Root 3 is equal to h by 100. So we are required h value. So next doing cross multiplication, you will get h is equal to 100 into root 3. 100 into root 3. Next, according to basic concept, already you learn root 2 is equal to 1.414 value. Next, root 3 is equal to 1.732. Is it right? Next, root 5 is equal to 2.236. Okay, these all are called irrational numbers. According to this basic concept, what is the value of root 3? 1.732. Applying here. Okay. So therefore, h is equal to 100 into root 3 value 1.732. Next, h is equal to 100 into 1.732. So equation is equal to 173.2 meters. Okay. So h, what is the meaning of h? H is the height of the tree. So therefore, the height of the tree value H is equal to 173.2 meters. This is the concept of a trigna tree. Okay. Okay, dear students, here I am taking another example. Example number two. Example number two. <coughs> Let us answer A B is the building. A B is the building. Okay. And uh, <coughs> B C is the adjacent side. Here makes it is a ladder. It is a ladder. Okay. Na? Suppose that you are considering the building. A B is equal to, for example, 200 meters. It is equal to 200 meters. Next, uh, angle of elevation is equal to 45 degrees. 
and the distance between B and C is equal to, for example, we are getting suppose 100 meters, suppose 100 meters, okay. <coughs> so next, by using this figure, we have to find the length of the ladder, length of the ladder, okay, now? see here. According to sine theta formula, sine theta is equal to the formula opposite side by hypotenuse. Okay, now? opposite side value is equal to AB by here hypotenuse is equal to AC. Okay, here theta is equal to much 45 degrees. So I write here sine 45 degrees is equal to AB value is equal to 200 by AC. I don't know the length of the ladder. As in that sub L is equal to that. Okay. No need of taking this BC. Okay. Using this two one, you can find uh, the length of the ladder. Sin 45 degrees is equal to so much 1 by root 2. It is equal to 200, which is divided by L. The requirement is the length of the ladder. Okay. Again, doing cross multiplication, L into 1 is equal to L. It is equal to so 200 into root 2. Okay. Next, L is equal to 200 into, already we have root 2 value is equal to 1.414. Okay. I don't know that. 1.414. Next, simplification, L is equal to 200 into 1.414 multiplication. 2 4 is how much? 8 to 1 by 2. 2 4 is 8 to 1 by 2. Okay. How many points we can put here? Okay. So, therefore, what is the length of the ladder? L is equal to so 282.8 meters. Okay. This is the concept of trigonometry chapter. Okay.